The column command allows you to columnate output on the command line. It's a neat little utility and comes in handy, especially when working with CSV comma separated values files, or any file using a delimiter. The JSON output format option might be useful for some developers. The column command uses the column's environmental variable to figure out the size of your display. With this information it determines how many and what size columns to display. If you are using a small terminal window the output may not be put into columns if the utility determines it doesn't have enough space. Let's get started. The core purpose of the column command is to display output in columns. You can do this by simply passing a file name as an argument to the column command. In this example we are using the words file located at user share dict words, which is just a giant list of dictionary words, one word per line. As you can see, the column command made two columns out of the list of words in the file. The column command can determine the number of columns the input has and create a table. Simply pass the minus T option to create a table. In this example we created a table using the input file rock.csv which contains playlist information for rock songs. The output is messy and unorganized because the default separator is a space. If the name of a song had a space in it, it moved it to the next column. Let's see how we can use a custom separator to clean up the output. This is where the column command gets useful. You can specify a custom separator, sometimes called a delimiter, to indicate where it should split into a new column. This file is a CSV comma separated value file so we will use the minus s option followed by a comma to declare it as a separator. Now the output is much cleaner. You can specify the column names for a table header. The names are used to address the column for additional options. Here we will add custom headers which will make the output even more human friendly. You can specify the column names by using the dash dash table dash columns or minus n option followed by a list of names separated by a comma. To further refine the output, we can align the text inside the columns. Here we will use the minus r option to align the last four columns to the right. We add the minus R option, followed by the names of the columns we want to align. As you can see in the new output the last four columns are aligned to the right. By default all columns will align left, as shown in the output on top. It is possible to hide the header names using the minus D option. This allows you to use the header names for formatting, as we did when aligning right, but not print the headers to output. Using the minus T option, you can specify the columns that you will allow to be truncated by their name. This helps when you have some columns that are unusually long. In this example we will shrink down the terminal. We will then use the minus T option followed by the word combined. This will tell column that we want to truncate the column named combined, if space is limited. You can easily generate JSON formatted output with the column command. Using JSON output requires the that the output be formatted into a table and column recommends having the table name set with the minus N option. To output your table in JSON format, simply use the minus J option. If you enjoyed this tutorial please support Putorius by liking the video, subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are posted. As a side note, I noticed Red Hat 7 and CentOS 7 ship with a stripped down version of the column command. There is no JSON output and other options are missing as well.